let's see if this works <laughs> hi guys i know you don't know this but this is the fourth try this morning to do this video i also refilmed it twice yesterday and when i finally uploaded the second one i noticed oh i had packages in the background and you can see the address label and i was like oh shoot uh so i tried to redo it this morning and things haven't gone my way so let's try this again this will be my last try if this doesn't work then hmm, let's leave it so i want to talk a little bit about plastic and metal and some sure tail signs uh, tail tail tails tail well how you know the difference i messed up um i bought these now i bought these on my phone and as you can see, the image of the item is small in the image itself. And imagine this even smaller on your phone screen. So what I didn't see was there's some clear ones in here. That's a tail sound. This is plastic. I did, however, imagine this small on your screen, a phone screen, you can't really tell. And the title says arm ring, not bracelet, arm ring, unknown metal, silver colored and gold colored unknown metal the metal in this case is plastic so how can i be so sure that this is plastic because some of silver colored and gold colored they could be you know real but you see these little dots here where they have been cut out from the mold or cut apart from each other like most plastic things has this somewhere where it's been casted um so these are a short tail sign. Now I put some piece of tape there so I could show them to, to you. Anyway, um, if these were metal, however, they would have something similar to... Let's see if I can find one on this. Oh, it's hard to see on the phone. I'm going to look in real life. There we go. Something like this. Some sort of welding or closure where it has been closed off you can see it really clearly on these big ones here you see and it goes all the way through you can see it's two parts put together and that's what you get with the metal ones um now these cheaper ones have really big ones there are some more expensive bangles like these are a lot harder to see on but you can find it and these are so clearly metal when you touch them, you get the cold feel. Um, metal and plastic feels very differently. So when you feel them, you can easily tell what is what. But when you buy something like this online, you can't really feel them, right? So I suggest you do what I didn't do. Click on the image, make the, make the image bigger. And if you're hesitant, if the see-through are plastic and these are metal, look for the little dots. I I think I saw them yesterday. No, I don't. Yeah, there. That's a dot. One of these little thingies here. So, uh, and you can also see, if you follow one of the rings around, you can also see that none of them has that little welding. Uh, where did it go? Ah, that, over there. You see that none, none of them have that little closure there. That's a short tail sign. Here's another thing to look out for. Um, and I kind of goofed up on these. So these were sold as rocks. Apologies for my hands. I've been doing stuff. Um, these were sold as rocks. However, I knew they weren't like real stones. I knew they weren't like agates or anything like that. I knew that from the start because I saw that in the photo. So let me open that one up. So that's the photo that was with um, the ad. And as you can see, you can see the swirls here and you can clearly see this. I'm going to make this bigger so it's easy to see like that. You can easily see the swirl there and you can see the swirl there. And I saw that on the phone, but I thought they might be glass because it doesn't say anywhere. It says stones. And in the description, it says 13 pieces of stone. 13 stones uh, purple white three centimeters long 
And that's what they are. They are stones, but they are plastic. And this is a lot harder to tell, but if I had paid attention. Now, yes, these are shiny, but as you can see, these are light reflection. And they still have a little bit of matteness to them. They're not soup. If this had been glass, they would have been even shinier. But if you look closely, you can see there's a little bit of matte finish to them. And I think you can see it here. They have a slight matte finish. If these were glass, they would have had a very glossy finish. So, um, I should have paid more attention to this, but I paid such a cheap price on them. I don't mind. And I'm still going to use them, just not for the purpose I was thinking. I was going to make jewelry out of these. But, of course, I'm not going to do it when they're plastic. But I will use them for my fairy landscapes. So, I'm okay with them being plastic. And for the price I pay, I shouldn't have expected more. But then again, I buy on Tradera and there's a lot of cheap stuff you can buy there. Why have I bought so many bangles? Well, uh, some of you may know this already, but I use them for dream catchers. I make dream catchers out of them and it's awesome. However, there was another thing that I didn't pay attention to with one of these. I bought this metal set here. Let me see, those were in the same. Let me see, that one, that one, and that one, and that one. So I bought this big set of bracelets. If I had bought these for wearing, as you can see, they are really, really small. And that's, again, me not looking closely at the picture. I, I should also mention that the, the bracelet, these, that was sold as unknown metal, I got compensated for, I got the, my money back. Uh, they didn't want to uh, to uh, get them back, and I am going to give them to my friend's daughter, so they won't go to waste, but these I bought, and they are metal, as you can tell. But again, if I had bought these for wearing, these would have been too small. Now, uh, it only says length 18. That's all it says, but if I had paid more attention, it says here, let me see if we can focus. It says extra small and small. I can't make that bigger. I can zoom in. I'm, I'm an idiot. There we go. So as you can see here, it says extra small to small. But it's so hidden. And imagine looking at this on your phone. That oh. Hello. You don't want to zoom out again. There we go. That's what you see. And on your phone, oh, focus, oh, focus, yeah, thank you. You see, you can barely see this extra small, small. But thankfully, I'm going to use these for making dream catches, so it's okay that they are too small for me to wear, So, because I'm not going to use them. So those were a little few things to look out for when you buy stuff online. Look closely at the pictures and read the description. The same company that I bought these extra small from and those plastic that was an unknown metal, uh, I also bought a sweater from. And I mean, sometimes you accidentally put something in the wrong category, that, that happens. But also the description in the ad said extra large woman for size. And I got them and it was extra large child. So yeah, it didn't even fit on one arm. And I'm a, I'm not very tall or anything and I'm not super heavy, super thick or anything like that. But it was way too small. So I'm going to give that to my friend's daughter and also those bracelets I'm going to give to my friend's daughter. These, however, uh, we will get back to later on. And um, I don't know when, sometimes this spring. I'm going to make a fairy landscape and I figured I was going to film this and these are going to be used for that since I can't make jewelry out of them because I'm not going to sell jewelry made out of plastic stone. Sorry, that's not happening. But we can use them for 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 the fairy landscape, right? They work fine for that. And hopefully you will see some dream catchers, some more dream catchers coming up on my Etsy, I already have a few up there and I have some more ready to go. 
Um, I just need to post all this on my Tradera first. And also I have some bags over there with stuff that I'm going to post on my Tradera first. Before I get to that. So that's what I'm up to. And that's some tips on what to look for if you're unsure if the silver or gold colored bracelets are plastic or not. You look for if they have that dot, it's plastic. And if they have that little seam kind of. Where did it go? There we go. That little seam there. Then it's definitely metal. Some it's more visible than others. I had some of these I was going to show you yesterday. And it's it's a bit trickier to see. But if you look closely there, you can see it. If my phone will focus there, you can see it. And the more expensive ones, bangles, they have very... Um, the seam is not that visible. Now, if I were to wear this, I would be stabbed. Can you see that little sharp thingy there? Yeah. So some of these twisted ones had those really sharp things. But since I'm making dream catchers, that's going to be hanging somewhere. It doesn't matter that this one has sharp spikes. So that was it for today. I'm going to finish my coffee, have my little snacks here. It is... Uh, it's like rice cakes, but it's it's made of corn and it has salted caramel and they are amazing. It was a limited edition. I can't find them anymore. Um, I thankfully still have one more package apart from this one because these are delicious. These are so delicious. I wish they had them all year round because these are so good. Um... Well, that was pretty much all I had today. Uh, it's minus 20 degrees outside right now. It's still kind of early morning. It's about 8 a.m. And it's snowing. Can you tell? Yeah, it's snowing again. Do you see the tip of that icicle? It's a huge icicle. And it's like murder weapon growing on my house. <laughs> this house might be out to get me. No, it's just poorly isolated, so all the heat goes up through the roof and the snow melts. And I get icicles. Okay, uh, I'm going to let you guys go now. Hope you have an amazing weekend. I hope to see you soon.